given how much these teams run, Clark, the bench play could be big. Absolutely, Kevin. I mean, with how much these teams like to get up and down and push it, I think it's going to be one of those windshield wiper games. So a bunch of guys could get some action tonight. And a look at the starters for the Hornets. The forwards are Hayward and Washington. The guard pair, Ball and Rogier. And it's Richards in at the foul. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. Ball kicks to Washington. Charlotte moving it around. Now Hayward. Pass to Rogier. Lets it go with the three. It's up and it's off the mark. He's 0 for 1. MP against Hayward. A nice shot by MP. And some off the court news for MP recently. He announced he'll be a spokesman for Ruffles. Oh, and he'll be great. To be honest, you know, Greg, I'm not sure why Ruffles hasn't reached out to me yet. I practically live off of cheddar and sour cream. And I can say Ruffles has ridges. <laughs> they get the rebound. Morant outside. Back to MP. And the dunk by MP. Morant knows his role. Ja loves. setting guys up always looking to pass it. Hayward kicks the ball back to Hayward pass to Richards now ball passes it to Hayward Charlotte no good that time either MP against Washington Jackson and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. And the defense of Jared Jackson Jr., it has become a lead. Triple J finishing top five in 2022 in the defensive player of the year vote. Greg, why do you think Jaron Jackson Jr. made that leap defensively in his game? Kevin Health. Jackson was finally back to 100% in 2022. The ability to kind of fully use his physical tools. And Jaron's still learning from playing night in and night out. Now living up Hornets to that foul. massive potential. Jerry and Rogier you know, goal. for proof of what Morant's foul. done for the Memphis Six franchise, team. look at the offensive numbers. At the Grizzlies line, have made Rogier. huge steps forward every year. Greg, the improvement since Morant arrived has been very steady. And the Grizzlies went from the 20th rated offense in his rookie season to number 16 in his second year and then all the way up to number five last season Ja has turned them into a powerhouse now here's Hayward last game 26 points and there's the foul it's on Steven Adams that's his first foul and right now let's watch that terrific swat a defensive play like that early in the game can go a long way. Establishes an attitude that you want to have during the game. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Morant against Ball. Four on the clock. Over Morant. Ball no good. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Morant looking around. Now, here's MP. Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. Washington with it. Now defended by Adams. A shot by Hayward. Wide open. And nothing is falling for him right now. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold, this boy. Man. It's Morant in the corner. He 
He takes it in. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. Yeah, on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. And you know, one of the things about missing free throws is not only are you not getting points yourself, but it allows the other team to maintain momentum or keep a rally going. Now, here's Rogier. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Chicago. Jackson against Washington. Now the pass to Richards. He dishes it to Ball. Three-pointer, Hayward. He gets hauled in by Adams. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going in this quarter. MP against Hayward. Here's MP. Hits the jump hook. MP's got his third basket of the night. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Hornets trail by 12. Ball finds Rozier. Pass to Richards. And it's Ball in the corner. Down to five on the shot clock. A shot by Washington, and he's wide open. Bangs home the trifecta. Washington's got it back down to within single digits for Charlotte. And so Morant will bring it up for the Grizzlies. Outside, Bain. In the corner, it's MP. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Ball, the pass to Rozier. Charlotte moving it around. Here's Hayward. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Steven Adams picks one up. You know, after suffering a grisly foot injury in 2017, nobody would have blamed Gordon Hayward if he walked away from basketball entirely. And what you admire about Hayward is his resiliency. He's had to battle to get back on the floor. And oh, wow. <laughs> really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. And, you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. Such great timing, defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. And going up strong inside demonstrates confidence. Morant not afraid to get physical. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Memphis. These guys have been so quick off the dribble, finding great lanes to attack and getting themselves to the basket. Something else they're doing well tonight, guys? Lots of points in the paint. Something to continue to keep our eye on. Ball kicks to Hayward. Pass to Washington. MP against Hayward. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer. He'll head to the line. And at this point of the season, Greg, many coaches still are maneuvering their lineups, trying to find the right formula. Yeah, especially the younger team. There's no real established pecking order, and guys can be wildly inconsistent from night to night. And, you know, there's no question about it. Hayward is an exciting player and an athletic forward who can really, really score. Morant kicks to Bain. Morant passes to Bain. Here's Tillman. And too long on the shot. Last outing for Memphis. They won that game against the Trailblazers in Portland. This is it to Morant. Stolen by Ball. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Hayward's running. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by MP. And some changes in for the Hornets. Williams comes in for Nick Richards. And Oubre subbed in for Gordon Hayward. 
So timeout call here. The first for Memphis. And after winning the 2021 Rookie of the Year, the mellow ball was even better. His sophomore campaign, he, he continues to grow his game. Left side, ball. And there's the pass to Rogier. Pass to Washington. Just five on the clock. From the wing. And the rejection by MP. He is zero for his last however many this quarter, guys. Might need to get him out and let him settle down a bit here. Right wing. Moran finds MP. The shot. No good. Williams with the defensive effort. And for LaMelo Ball's second year, Greg, where did you see him improve the most? I think taking on more of a scoring mode, the points for the game were significantly up. But LaMelo also improved his three-point and free-throw shooting numbers. So rounding out that offensive game will be important. Looking at who's out there now for the Grizzlies. Aldama's checked in, and Brooks subbed in for Bain. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Martin's checked in, and there's the bucket from MP. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Outside, Williams. Pass the ball. It's over Morant. Ball no good. Memphis leading by 12. Here's MP. The rebound by LaMelo Ball. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. The Grizzlies have gone 7 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. And it's Brooks in the corner. Morant outside. Here's MP. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Hornets trail by 12. Outside, ball. And the Hornets miss again. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Floats it up for MP. Aldama can't hit. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone awry. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Well, Steve Clifford had a few minutes to share with me. He said he honestly doesn't know what to expect. This is the first meeting between these two teams this year. So there'll be some feeling out at the beginning. But he told me sometimes that's when we're at our best. We're relying on our instincts and awareness at the offensive end. Kevin, we'll see if that holds true. All right, David, thank you. Sounds like to execute the plan, Greg, they're going to have to get that good shot selection. No doubt about it, Kevin. If you want to shoot a high percentage in this league, you have to be patient, and you have to understand what quality of shots you get. Exactly, and if it's not there for you, simply make the next pass. Keep the ball moving. Give the offense a chance to do what it's designed to do, which is produce the best shot. Charlotte calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some... Hey, Tremble, will he perform when he has money right in front of him? Run up on that boy right in front of him. I just tapped his shoulder so I know that he is touchable. In my, in my and then I turned him to a pre-K and eating Lunchables. I just and as you know it's unrefundable. When you you should never feel uncomfortable. Don't waste any time bro. Just do the job right or you are surely going go knock on some wood but I just feel I did incredible. How many? How many? I don't know but more than several. I,
This is how the floor looks for the Hornets starting this. It's a shooter's league, and we're seeing more and more big men float out to the perimeter and knocking them down. Well, B.A., the game has evolved, and the shooting, particularly from the bigs, is fantastic. But, you know, I wish the bigs had a little bit more diversity. I don't mind shooting from the perimeter, but every once in a while, go mix it up and take advantage of your size mismatch in the paint. Guys, when the conversation is about the Charlotte Hornets, obviously there is a figure that looms large, and that's the majority owner, Michael Jordan, the man who has six NBA titles, the man who many consider the greatest player to ever play the game. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. MP against Martin. Here's MP. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to be on Cody Martin. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Memphis. Well, we've seen them take advantage of the lanes given to them so far. The defense isn't plugging it up, and it's being exploited. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. Ball, he's checked in for Charlotte. A shot to stop the drought! The Grizzlies pull it in. Adams has got his fourth rebound in this one. Since MJ took over as owner of the Hornets in 2010, he's tried to keep them competitive. Unlike when MJ was a player in a huge market like Chicago, in a market like Charlotte, it's much smaller. It's a bigger challenge to attract marquee talent. But I would say this, they've got some exciting young talent on their roster. You begin with LaMelo Ball, certainly potential there to build on. And you can tell how much these fans here in Memphis love their Grizzlies. Yeah, I mean, B.A., ever since they moved here in 2001, these fans have been so loyal. And the players are also enjoy playing here. Memphis is a fun-loving city with great barbecue and a lot of characters. We are talking about a big-time offensive rebounder, and Steven Adams unafraid to impose his will with that frame. Throws here outside. Over Bain. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. Well, the league and the world have endured tremendous challenges in recent years. Commissioner Silver said, quote, we found a way to keep going under very difficult circumstances. It required enormous diligence. To keep playing throughout the pandemic, we are particularly proud of that. Brian? Hey, the show must go on. Thanks, Allie. A unique talent. Ja Moran has taken the NBA by storm. Grant, does Ja remind you of anyone? Well, many people, including Paul George, have compared Ja to a young D. Rose. Yet yeah, each explosive athletes at the one position. Well, John Rose leading their teams at a young age as well. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Off the inbound. He's so frustrated. Hasn't had a make-all game. It's making it very difficult for them to find any success. Here's MP. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Making plays at both ends of the floor. And it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. And not many teams have as solid a piece to build around as the Hornets do with LaMelo Ball. LaMelo clearly is a guy who has incredible confidence, incredible vision and passing ability. When you look at his ability to make the game easy for the players around him, and sometimes in transition to make those elite athletes look incredibly special, he is a guy that you would enjoy playing with. Here's Richards. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Memphis has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. And that one's good. Moran. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Rogier finds Oubre. 
Here's Ball. Oh, no good again that time. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. And for Charlotte, they're shooting at just 26% in the second. Hayward to pass to Ball. Oubre with it. Pass to Hayward. Out to Oubre. Clock at four. All sorts of time. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. Outside Oubre. Back to Richards. He drains out one after two misses. Now one for three. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. MP left side. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Everyone's still finding their footing in this early part of the season, Greg. How important is it to get off to a really hot start? Oh, it's so important to get off early to a good start, B.A. You really want to build some momentum early. In some ways, it can really set the tone for the rest of the season. Ball passes to Hayward. Back to Ball. Shot clock at six. Oh, and Jackson with the block. The attention to detail on defense. Jackson reads shooters well and knows when to go for blocks. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game is going. Yeah, and we hear this a lot about the Grizzlies, but it bears repeating. There's probably no team in the NBA that has more reason for optimism than Memphis. And he makes the first. You know, I think about all the optimism surrounding the Grizzlies. The rest of the NBA has been put on notice. The NBA, and they should be. This team should be a contender for years to come. If the front office makes the right moves, which they have in the last few years, they could be hanging up some banners very soon. And so it's Charlotte with it. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Rozier from outside hits a three-pointer. Well, early in his career, you played Terry Rozier as a driver. Now you've got to deal with that three-point shooting ability. Morant, the pass to MP. Hornets with the rebound. This game coming after a loss versus the Bulls. It's never easy to win games when you're missing free throws. They had to be better. You know this. Nothing gets a crowd into the game more than a bunch of missed free throws. That's one of the worst things you can do on the road. Rozier can't get it to go. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Jackson, the pass to MP. And the ball out of play. Hornets will have it. A minute 22 left in the second period. Right side, Oubre. Oh, MP with a block. Down low. Picked it out of midair. Fast break. Here come the Hornets. Pushing it up now. And Hayward gets it to... Go on the assist by Ball. Hayward's got five points. If you leave a teammate of LaMelo Ball that wide open, I promise you he will find him. Morant, the pass to MP. Back to Morant. MP outside. Four on the clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Offensive rebound. Jackson. And he lays it up and in. Jackson's got it.
a second basket of the game. Finishing through contact. Jackson showing why a 6'11 guy with real shooting ability is so dangerous. Here's Richards. And here's Oubre from the arc. And it's MP with a rebound. MP's got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. Hornets foul. LaMelo Ball. Second personal foul. Free throw good. MP. Here in the Lamello second period, him. he's made a concerted Lamello. effort to attack and get himself to the line. Ball outside. Puts up a three. He can't hit that time. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Now Rozier. Inside, it's the pair of Jackson Jr. and Adams. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. And it's MP in at the three. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. At the line for your Grizzlies. Number 11. At the line for one. Free throw good. MP. The Hornets shooting a tough 22% from the field so far. Rozier outside. Pass to Washington. Ball outside. Looking to get back on track. It's rebounded by Memphis. Adams has got his sixth rebound on the night. In the air. And MP with a layup. MP's got 27 points. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Ball passes to Hayward. On the wing, Rozier. Pass to Hayward. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. And MP throws it down. Adding to his game over time. When Jackson spots his open teammates like this, the offense runs much smoother. Hayward finds ball. Back to Hayward. Pass to Richards. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. It's clear Charlotte has the pieces in place to make noise in the league for years to come. Yeah, no question, B.A. They got one of the best young rosters in the NBA, and they're balanced. They play tremendous team basketball. Fun to watch. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Even as a forward, Gordon Hayward can run the offense, Grant. Hey, B.A., he is a tremendous passer. Hayward's average over five assists a game during a season. Having Gordon in the front court really helps with ball movement. Well, Gordon Hayward seems to get better and better every year this guy is in the NBA. And the thing maybe that's my favorite about him, he does whatever is requested to put the team in a position to win. Here's MP. Pass to Adams. Outside Bain. Four on the clock. Richards pulls it in. Richards has got five rebounds in the game. Three-pointer Rozier. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. Ball's got his third assist of the night. How about the lightning quick release from Terry Rozier? Wow. Now here's MP. That's 29 for him. To the paint. Here's Adams. Tries again. And it's good on the lay-in. Adams has gotten his second bucket of the game. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Pass to Richards. 
Oh, it's stolen by Adams. To the middle. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. And Morant is a natural leader. Someone who wants to get his guys involved when they're open. Ball finds Hayward. Back to ball. And out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. We've gone about three and a half minutes here into the third. Here's Bain. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Second personal foul. And for players, greatness can be defined so many ways. But giving back has to be a component of that. Wouldn't you say, Grant? Well, to whom much is given, much is expected. In B.A., I agree 100%. Players today understand the impact that they can have on others. I love that about the league, the players, the coaches, everyone involved, using this gift to make a change and a positive impact throughout the world. The Grizzlies have gone six for nine in the half. And he lobs it up to the rim. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Inside. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Hayward with a steal. And here comes the break. Washington passes to Hayward. Bain against Rozier. Doesn't go that time. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Next matchup, they'll be at home against the Wizards. And that'll put them halfway through a three-game homestand. Here's MP. Goes back up. And he lays it in. MP's got 11 points here in the second half. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Ball passes to Washington. Hayward for three. Adams grabs the miss. I'll tell you, it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. And the basket by MP. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Now here's Hayward. He has seven. Three-pointer. Grizzlies with the rebound. Adams has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Man, good whistle there. All right, let's take a look at the energy stats. How the hustle game has been going for the Grizzlies. These guys have incredible stamina based on how they've been running the floor. Using speedy transition play to get fast break points. Second chance points have also been a big part of what's happened in this game. Crashing the boards with authority, turning those opportunities into second chance points. Boy, big time, big time on the offensive glass. Oubre, he's checked in for Charlotte. Smith comes in for LaMelo Ball. Oubre against MP. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Personal foul. See Kelly. In the NBA, more attention is being paid to mental health more than ever before. And players are taking the lead in raising awareness. I love that, Brian, because it's such an important issue. Performing between the lines of an NBA floor requires basketball skill, but it also it requires mental health and strength. And a lot of players, Kevin Love in particular, have been so brave. Credit to the NBA for addressing it and being out front. On the floor for Charlotte, Ball and Rozier are the guards. Nick Richards out there with Gordon Hayward, and it's Oubre in at the small forward. Pass to Mikhail Luke. Here's Book Knight to the left side wing. Here's McGowan's. The three pointer off the mark. He's got to be mad at himself. You won't get a better look than that. Williams against MP. Jones with the block. 
Pass to Book Knight. Fires the three. Oh, -ho! MP with a block. There's the drive. Oh, oh big finish. Oh, did you see that? A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a stick. right there man and the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block you know you can't ask for any better defense than that he responded so fast to the shooter and it stifled him here's McGowan's it's rebounded by Memphis Ugh, he forced that one not a productive trip up the floor and oh, oh wow a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. The Hornets shooting just 24% on this one. Not great. Pass to Makai Luke. Stolen by MP. Here's Kennard. Unable to get that one. Now Charlotte takes it the other way. A minute 35 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Mikhail Luke. Now here's Williams. Defended by Kennard. Just five on the clock to stop the run. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. His third personal foul. It'll go on Luke Kennard. Well, Grant, in the pace and space era of the NBA, it seems like the rate of free throws league-wide has declined dramatically. Yeah, I love that, B.A. It keeps the game going. There's a flow to the game, and we like it as broadcasters, and you know the fans love it as well. So I hope the league will continue on this trend. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Grizzlies. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And they earn win number nine. Each win so important in this league. And against a non-conference opponent, you really want to win the first one. They'll go into the next one knowing how to beat this team for sure. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for MP. Boy, his activity really stood out to me on the defensive end. He harassed ball handlers, came up with steals in transition. Yet the feeling guys were looking over their shoulder, worried he was going to pick their pocket. This is why you put the ball in his hands. An accurate pass hitting a moving target. And here are the Grizzlies now. MP outside. Jones with the block. They recover it. Jones grabs the board. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. You wish they'd shown this kind of fight earlier. No doubt. It felt like they were a little tight for much of the evening. Now they're in a better flow, but it may be too little too late. And so it's the Grizzlies taking care of business in this one. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you later. Now, you guys managed to secure this victory with hard work on both ends of the court. Mm -hmm. How did you get it done? I mean, come on, man. It, there is a level of responsibility that comes to being in this league, and I embrace that. You know, just not even on a, uh, the offensive end either. You know, you need to block shots. 
I'll do that. You need me to stop the ball? You already know I'm on that one, man. You know, tonight I cleaned up the glass, so whatever it takes, like I said. It sounds like you take your role as a leader on this team extremely seriously. Oh, dead serious, man. You know, I'm about this life, John. There's nothing else for me. Tremble. Will he perform when he has money right?